The U.S. continues to increase its military posture toward North Korea amidst growing tensions with the regime. On Tuesday, a Pentagon spokesperson confirmed two guided missile destroyers have been deployed in the Pacific to ready for operation off the Korean peninsula. On the uh, Decatur and the uh, McCain, uh, they have arrived at predetermined positions in the Western Pacific, where they will be poised to respond to any missile threats to our allies or our territory. Military posturing by both the U.S. and North Korea has increased since the U.N. Security Council approved U.S.-backed sanctions last month in response to North Korea's third nuclear test. On Tuesday, North Korea vowed to restart a shuttered nuclear reactor. Earlier today, meanwhile, the regime also closed off access to a joint industrial zone with South Korea. In Washington, Secretary of State John Kerry denounced North Korea for recent threats of nuclear strikes on the U.S. and its allies. We've heard an extraordinary amount of unacceptable rhetoric from uh, the North Korean government in the last days. <clears throat> so let me be perfectly clear here today. The United States will defend and protect ourselves and our treaty ally, the Republic of Korea. Thanks so much for watching this report from Democracy Now!, your daily independent global news hour. We don't accept advertising or corporate funding, but rather rely on donations from viewers like you. Please make your contribution by visiting democracynow.org. We need your support today to keep bringing you this hard-hitting, in-depth reporting.